The Low Country said goodbye to a football phenom, a mentor, and a proud member of this community, Coach John McKissick. Coach McKissick is the winningest coach at any level in football, and he will be missed by all who knew him. We want to go live to News 2's Brendan Clark, who's been covering the funeral service all day. Brendan, we know that you had a close connection with Coach McKissick, as did so many people in this community. Yeah, Carolyn, I'm going to miss him. Uh, straight and simple. I've known him for the 24 years I've been here, and uh, he will be missed. Heck, I went to every first day of practice he ever had. Always saw him at Sertoma. Always talked to him during football games. And yes, he may be the all time winningest coach in football at any level, which is amazing in itself. But to the hundreds of uh, people who came in here to say their final goodbyes to Coach McKissick, they know that his coaching taught life lessons. Yeah, if you think of Somerville, the first thing you should think of is the Green Wave football because of Coach McKissick. And he started a tradition, and his grandson is continuing that legacy. You don't have to be a former player to know how much John McKissick meant to Somerville and the people who knew him. The memories being shared today is evidence of that. A lot, a lot of us young guys have stood on the shoulders of his greatness to build our own programs. And that was one of my first goals when I got the head job at Stratford in 85 was to find a way to, to beat John McKissick, the legend. And, and he improved everybody's program because of his, his success he had over the years. As, you know, he's been such an inspiration to so many people, uh, certainly coaches. You know, when I came down here in 2002, you know, Coach McKissick was like, you know, he, he was it. The numbers are staggering, 621 wins and 10 state titles over a 62-year coaching career. But friends today say his success on the field doesn't tell the entire story. He has done so well and so much for, oh, just South Carolina, you know, I mean, just to the whole state. And kind of all the things that he kind of instilled in me as a player, as a person, um, representing the community. It's just, I mean, just had to be here to basically show my respects for what a great man he was. And certainly no doubt that he will be missed, John McKissick. The uh, funeral was at 2 o'clock here. Hundreds of mourners paying their final respects at Bethany United Methodist Church. John McKissick fittingly buried in a green casket. That's it for now, but at 5, 30 and 6 o'clock, we'll hear more from former players and coaches and family members as we remember John McKissick. Carolyn, back to you. Brendan, thank you. We look forward to hearing more of those stories. And as we said, Coach McKissick was certainly a football phenom. He led the Somerville team to a record 621 wins. We'll never forget those numbers, making him the winningest football coach at any level. We spoke with Fort Dorchester head coach Steve LaPrade about the impact Coach McKissick had on football here in the Low Country. The last football game he coached in was against me, you know, which, uh, you know, uh, looking back, uh, you know, I mean, I, I, I don't know, I, I don't think I beat Coach, but two or three times. But um, you know, it was uh, it was an honor because you knew you'd kind of to beat to beat one of his teams. You had to, you had to play some football. In 2014, Coach McKissick's grandson Joe Cole took over the head coach position at Somerville High School. U.S. Senator Tim Scott released a statement about Coach McKissick, saying, "Quote." Prayers with the family of Coach McKissick today, all those who played under him, a Somerville as a whole, a paratrooper during World War II. He's the winningest football coach at any level in the entire nation and touched thousands of lives along the way. Thank you, Coach. And U.S. Representative Joe Cunningham said this about Coach McKissick's passing. A low country legend, in short, he was the greatest high school football coach our state has ever seen. Let us all say a prayer for Coach McKissick's family and every student he coached and mentored over his 62 years at Somerville High School.